there's so much of their business that's economy type business, but they can't deliver seat miles as cheap as Frontier, Spirit Airlines. So they got to go find a place where they can get, uh, you know, do less volume at a higher price point, and that's going to be premium. But they, you know, they grew up as a low cost carrier, so they're trying to migrate up the curve to be uh, more of a full service carrier. Well, that's what I was wondering, it's, like, it's who's, whose customers, George, are they trying to snag with this kind of thing? I think they're going to, you know, I think they're trying to keep some of their uh, their own customers. Mm. I mean, the problem I still have with JetBlue is that if you're a business customer uh, and you need to be able to go globally on an airline, uh, like Paul, maybe you're going to Newark and taking United because JetBlue just can't get you that many places, right? It gets you really good East Coast, Caribbean, some transcontinental, but it really lacks a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the markets you'd need for business. Uh, so I think of them really as a high-end leisure traveler out of the New York area, a bit of a business traveler out of maybe New York and Boston, but it's really a, a very leisure-driven airline. So, but that's not such a bad thing, is it, George? As long as you still travel. Well, I mean, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, leisure has its place, right? But. Uh, I think there's less leisure high-end travelers yep. than there are high-end business travelers. And so I think if you want to be high-end full service, you got to go find that business traveler. Um, and it's hard when you don't have the cities, you know. Well, how, um, how much is it going to cost them to kind of put in this premium thing right now? I mean, honestly, I don't have that, I don't have that sort of on me. Uh, you know, th those lounges, I, I don't know, you end up having to buy some space caterers, things like that. I don't think it's going to be uh, super expensive, but okay. it, it, again, adds to the cost base of the airline that they have to bear, and they got to run leisure travelers through those lounges, have them be willing to pay up for that experience. 